Hi, I'm Professor Kelly. Our topic for today is Specific Gravity of Cement, ASTM C188. So, what is a specific gravity? A specific gravity can be defined as the density of any substance to the density of other reference substance at a specified temperature. In simple words, the specific gravity determines whether the material will sink or float in water. Our objective for this experiment is to determine the specific gravity of cement sample using Le Chatelier's flask. These are the materials needed. Anchor weights, Le Chatelier's flask, funnel, thermometer, rags, analytical balance, kerosene, and cement. Now, for the procedure, Fill the flask with kerosene to a mark on the stem between 0 and 1 cm mark. Note, use a clean observant cloth to dry the inside of the flask. Place the flask in a constant temperature bath of 20 positive negative 0.1 degrees Celsius and immerse not less than to 40 minutes. Read and record the initial height of the kerosene in a flask and this will be your initial reading. The constant temperature bath should be maintained at a temperature such that its temperature variation between the initial and final readings within the flask does not vary by more than 0.2 degrees Celsius. Prepare the cement sample approximately 64 grams, weigh to the nearest 0.1 grams. Remove the flask from the water bath and put the cement into the flask. Slightly shake the flask while placing the cement. Try to avoid the cement adhering to the inside of the flask or sticking to the neck and all cement shall fall under the kerosene level. The cement should be introduced slowly through a funnel. Place the stopper on the flask. Take off the lead weight and manipulate the flask to remove all the air bubbles from the flask. Turn the flask from the water bath and check the temperature if it's still the same temperature bath of 20 positive negative 0.1 degrees Celsius. Time to be immersed should be at least 40 minutes. Remove the flask from the water bath, read and record the final height of the kerosene in the flask, and this will be your final reading. The final reading should be at least ranging of 18 cubic centimeter to 24 cubic centimeter. Record all the data gathered from the experiment. Here is the sample data sheet. For the calculation, a specific gravity is equals to weight of the cement sample over final reading of the kerosene level minus initial reading of the kerosene level. A good cement should have the specific gravity of 3.1 to 3.6 grams per cubic centimeter. That's all for today! I hope you learned something from this video!